Hi guys, welcome back to it's Chef Dwight. Today, guys, today's Sunday dinner recipe is going to be a brown stew fish recipe. Now, guys, you see I pre-prepped all my herbs and spices. Just a list of seasonings that I use for this preparation and that I'll be using for like to season the pot. And here's my fish sliced just six pieces so guys please join me as i prepare this awesome recipe won't be cooking any rice today but guys stay tuned for the ending of this video thank you for watching please remember to hit that subscription button and i have playlists guys so those out there who want to follow up on what i've been doing up to this point please guys watch the playlist thank you let's get this show started Guys, look out for this video. So guys, here you see I have my oil that's been heated to fry the fish. Now for this brown stew fish, you know that you have to fry it up, fry it, and then you steam it down. So guys, when next you see me, I'll be starting the process. Now I'm going to butter the fish in some flour and seasoning so far it not to break apart so the flour will hold it together all right guys so i'm back now and ready for the seasoning of the flour just light seasoning because of course you already know that the fish is already seasoned so it's just a light season just to keep the the flavor not that much a touch of the cayenne as I said not much and then you just mix that around if you have cornstarch you can also put a little cornstarch all right so this is your dry butter you don't have to add salt because the Mrs. Dash seasoning as in salt all right so ready make sure your hands are clean I keep on stressing that you wanna just coat the fish as I said the flour base is for it to keep the fish from not falling apart it does a good job when you're doing these kind of fish because not all fish can withstand the heat and of the pot because they love to stick most of the fish they stick a lot so this batter just keeps the fish firmly together off the excessive flour as always the pot is ready let me just turn the camera sorry for the vibration you see the garlic is heated so you know the pot is hot okay guys so you just want to just turn the stove down a little bit you don't want to burn the fish uh, add another piece all right let me lift this you see guys no sticking no sticking at all so that's what the flower does because you know sometimes you add fish to the hot oil and in no time you're fighting to 
not make it break up in the pot so that's a good look when you can use this the flour batter to hold it together and keep it from not sticking to the pot so that's what the flour base does prevent it from sticking so your fish can get a nice brown coating nice Alright guys, so when I come back to this pot, I'll be showing you the nice golden brown color that you want it. So guys, stay tuned. Guys, I already prepared my mashed potato. So as I said, I'm not doing any rice today. So guys, just stick and stay till the end of the video and you'll just see this amazing recipe. Alright guys, time to look at the texture. Alright, we're good with that, we're good with that, look at that, we're good with that, yeah, so we're just gonna get a plate now to just take these out, and set them aside, oh, okay. look at that. Alright guys, so it's time now to take off these fish. So let me just grab a spatula. Sit it on some paper towel in the meantime. So as I take out one, I put in the other. Alright. Look at that guys. And as I said, no breaking apart. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Yep, solid as a rock. While I'm taking out, I'm putting in. Woo. Careful guys, hot oil, hot oil. That's why I use this deep frying pot. So just in case it falls back in the oil, don't really splash high enough. Alright guys, so I'm just going to leave these two pieces to cook. And I'm going to show you these. Alright guys, these are the first set that I took out. See the nice golden brown flaky color. Alright, so guys, as soon as the other two pieces are finished, we'll get down to the brown skewing of these fish. Thank you guys for watching to this part. Guys, as I told you, I'm looking about a lot of things off camera, but the main ingredient is the brown stew fish. So here I have my vegetables that I've been boiling. So as I said guys, this is an awesome recipe. Final two pieces guys are ready to come out so I can start the rest of this video. Of course you see my vegetable that I showed you earlier. This can stay a little bit, That's probably a minute more. So guys when next you see me it's time to do the brown stew. Okay guys so I got rid of the oil from the pot. I'm going to reuse some of it, not a lot, just to saute the herbs. So I'm just going to use a spoon, maybe three tablespoons. That's enough to saute. in a 
everything prepared. Everything prepared. Let me just grab the stuff from the refrigerator. Voila. Guys, I'm just going to put the bell peppers in first. Onion, everything. And just saute it. I might add some more oil to it. Oh my god. The aroma of this guy is so nice. Just to have all these herbs mixed together and getting that nice smell. I'm going to just gradually add some more oil. I'm going to give you guys a close-up look. The breakdown of the of the herbs. So when you saute it, it actually breaks down some of the potentness of the herbs. Now, guys, I'm gonna add some ketchup. Not a lot yet. And then I'm gonna add the seasoning to the the water when I actually put some water in it. So I'm going to use the, the fish, the same broth that was seasoned with the fish, and I'm just going to add it. I'll add some more ketchup as soon as this is ready. Ooh. I just love the smell of that. Alright guys. Where's my knife? I'm gonna cut some tomatoes. Add some tomatoes. You can dice it or you can cut it any way you want. So you guys are actually seeing me do this live. Well, not live, live, but I mean, you know? Ooh. Guys, you just love that smell. Alright guys, so when next you see me, I'll be adding the fish to this dish. Alright guys, so I'm back. I'm about to add the fish. So now I'm going to just add a tip of browning. Not a lot. I don't want to overpower it with the browning. You know, to give the fish that brown look. I'm going to give you guys a close up look of this gravy. Look at that, guys. to be adding a little top of seasoning to give the pot some seasoning all right so 
time to add the fish, guys. I'm going to gently put them in. Let me just create some space and not just drop them, be lazy and drop them on top of the herbs. These are some big chunks of fish. So I'm just throw them over the herbs. Put the herbs on top. Woo. Fish pieces are big guys, so you know after we go in back in and just put them in so all of them can get a little of the goodness. And you don't want it to break apart because moving them up and down so often can break them apart. Woo! I have my okra. So I'm going to turn the stove down a little bit. So, guys, when next you see me, I'll be back when the pot kind of simmer down the gravy get it thickening see you guys soon all right guys so i'm back look at that gravy is thickening bubbling so guys at this time i can't use the spoon in this pot because of course you see the fish pieces are so big so i don't want to be doing that and breaking the fish apart so what i'm gonna do is i have my mitten I'm just going to lift the pot and just, you know, shake it around just to get everything mixed up. Alright guys, so guys, what I want you to do now is to join me at the table. And guys, remember I said look out for the finishing dish. Thank you guys for watching up to this point. I want to say thank you to all my loyal subscribers that has been here with me since, what, 2019, 2020, about that part. And, you know, riding the wave with me, you know, seeing how I prepare my recipes, my dinner or my breakfast. And guys, thank you for the love. For all my new subscribers, please remember, Hit the notification bell, hit the like button, tell me what you'd love to see me prepare and, and uh, then I'll do my homework and try to prepare it. Thank you guys for watching, join me at the table. Now guys, tell me how this look. Be honest with me and tell me how it look. Dinner guys, broccoli, vegetable. Mashed potato, string bean, the fish, and some steamed beets as well. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember guys, like, share, subscribe.